This is a Channel 7 editorial with Vice President and General Manager Mike Murray. Get ready, America, for a grand reopening and long overdue rebirth. On June 6th, the historic Michigan Central train station is set to reveal its renovation to the public. It hopes to be a beacon of light and an economic catalyst. For decades, this iconic structure stood as a symbol of the Motor City's decay and neglect. Its proud past was buried deep inside the building's dust and rubble. Many felt it was an embarrassment and wanted it to be demolished. But in 2018, the Ford Motor Company purchased the train station for $18 million. The automaker promised to give it new life. Apparently, one of the oldest and most recognizable business names in Detroit has kept its word. We commend Bill Ford, his family, and the multinational auto manufacturer for their vision and commitment. Today, the old Michigan Central Station is on the brink of being Detroit's newest symbol of endurance and spirit. Phoenix-like, it has risen from the ashes. When it opens to the public, they will see new retail space, restaurants, residential living, a possible hotel, and an epicenter of future technology and innovation. Surrounding it will be an entire infrastructure of new economic development and revitalization. The building story will attract world attention and play a key role in rebranding a positive image for Detroit. Reopening on the heels of the upcoming NFL draft, Michigan's largest city couldn't ask for a better one-two punch. Built in 1912, the last passenger rail train to leave out of Michigan Central was in 1988. Hopefully, what will come out of the Corktown facility in the future could lead the world's mobility. I'm Mike Murray. We welcome your response to this editorial.